Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a fun little Black Friday haul from Shein. I picked out some amazing pieces, tons of jackets and sweaters for all of the fun like end of fall, early winter kind of activities that are coming up. I've still been a busy travel bee, so all of these pieces will be coming with me on some upcoming trips. If you guys are interested in seeing how I'm styling some of these, make sure you're following me on Instagram at style by McKenz, but I'm very excited. Per usual, I will leave links to everything down below as well as my coupon code here on the screen so that you guys can save 15% off your next purchase. And yeah, let's just hop right on in. All right, we're gonna start off with these shoes because I've got three pairs that are honestly really, really good. So this first pair, you might actually recognize this style. They are like almost exact dupes for the tan pair from Steve Madden, my Steve Madden Hutch boots that I've been wearing literally 24 seven since being abroad. I regret not bringing my black ones so badly. And I've been looking for a cheaper alternative for you guys. The Steve Madden ones are like $100 and these are like 40. And these are literally like identical. I wore them for an entire day trip in Prato. I walked seven miles in them the very first day that I wore them. My feet were super comfortable. They're definitely a little bit narrower than the Steve Madden ones, but they're great. They've got like more of that sock style up top and they've got a really short manageable heel that just gives you a little bit of height, but you can still walk miles and miles in these without your feet being super tired. So good. They have these in several colors and I really recommend All right, then I also picked up this pair of boots because I've been wanting something that's like more of this cream nude. This is more of a sock style as you can tell so it's flimsy it just kind of conforms to your ankle and then these have a chunky platform that lift you up again just a little bit but as you can see it's not like this has a heel. Your foot's not going to get super tired walking around in these which is so key because literally every trip I go on I'm walking and standing on my feet all day long so love these going to be super cute with some of those other layers. And then the last pair of boots that I got are actually a taller pair. It's been a while since I had like kind of a tall riding boot style. These, as you can tell, are again that flimsy like sock style and I have these in the nude. I love them. I've been wearing them quite a bit. So I got them in the black as well. They've got just about a one and a half inch heel. So super manageable. These would look great with skinny jeans or faux leather leggings, but honestly, I tend to wear them with tights and a skirt. So can't go wrong and they're great to travel with. Wrap that material around the base of the shoe and then this literally takes up zero room when packing. So two thumbs up. I've just like been on a major jacket kick. So you're going to be seeing quite a few jackets. Um, the first one that I got is a really cute like olive green puffer. I love, love, love this color right now. Super cute for the fall time. And this jacket has just the right amount of puff to it. It's got these drawstrings along the bottom so that you can kind of cinch this up if you want. I tend to just leave it as is. This one definitely has enough room in the shoulders to layer up a chunky sweater, a long sleeve, a scarf underneath of this. I know some puffers don't have as much room, but this one def does. And I'm wearing a size small in it. How cute is this little teddy coat? I've been seeing this checkered style all over Urban Outfitters recently and I saw one on Shein. I wasn't sure like how much I was going to wear this style which is why I decided to pick it up for a more affordable price point. I love this. It's got that tan in the white. I think it would be super cute with those new um, boots that I just showed you and a cute little sweater, a pair of jeans, kind of more of a statement jacket so you don't really have to worry about a super crazy outfit underneath. I am wearing this in a size extra small. Fits really well. It's got like a lot of room throughout the actual jacket, but I will say the sleeves run a little bit short, so just keep that in mind. How cute is this little guy? I felt like this would be more of a like kind of going out jacket. Like if I wanted to look a little more polished, going on a little dinner date, something of the sort, this would be really cute. It's like a faux suede and then the inside is lined with that Sherpa material. Super, super soft. And this definitely keeps you a little warmer than some of those other like more synthetic polyester linings, which is why I really like this. This is a size small and it's got more of a cropped fit throughout the bodice of it, but the sleeves are a great length. I cannot wait to to wear this here in Florence. And then I picked up two different vests. The first one is like a black leather with that same white Sherpa interior. I don't know, is this like giving motorcycle chic? I love this guys, but I'm not sure it's everyone's style, everyone's taste. But honestly, if I were in the States and I was just going to class, I'd wear this with like a black long sleeve yoga pants and a pair of Converse. And I feel like this would just instantly make the outfit like cool. Like, you know, really easy way to spice up a basic outfit. But I also think it would look great with a couple of layers, some leather pants. I'm like in my European girl era right now, just busting out good outfits. So I'm really excited to style that. 
And then I also got this little orange quilted vest. I don't know, something about November makes me want to wear orange, like Thanksgiving time, the end of Halloween, like, you know, it just like gives good energy with the fall foliage. And I've always loved orange, so I picked up this one. And I don't know, I can't wait to wear it. I think even with the jeans and the white top I have on right now, it could be super cute. It's got more of a cropped fit to it, zips up the center, and it's like a quilted got a little bit of quilted texture to it which i love definitely it runs like true to size so if you want something that's a little more oversized def go up okay then i've got two flannels because i just i can't stay away from the flannels you guys i love wearing these i would say that both of these are more of like a layering piece not necessarily something that you would wear on its own not because they're not cute enough the only reason i say that is because the interior of these isn't the same like soft flannel it's like more of a rigid material so there are definitely flannels from Shein that you get the softer interior but this is one that I would typically wear with like a long sleeve underneath of it and I love this one it's got a little bit of orange in it a little bit of black a little bit of tan a little bit of white kind of all the good fall colors you know what would be really cute this flannel over top of this white shirt with that orange vest that is a look maybe I'll wear that to class tomorrow um, I do size up to a size medium in their flannels just to give them a little more room, a little more, you know, something, something. And then I also got this brown flannel. I figured this could go with literally all of the neutral sweaters and boots and scarves and hats and things that I've been picking up recently. Um, very, very cute. Just basic, you know, can't go wrong. All right, you guys, then we're going to do a speed round of sweaters because I've got quite a few. I just, I wear a sweater pretty much every single day. If I'm not wearing like a flannel or a puffer with one of these basic long sleeves, I'm usually wearing jeans and a sweater. So can't go wrong. This first one is super chunky. It's a good ivory cable knit. I love this. I've been needing an ivory sweater here. I have like true whites, but not something in this color. This is from the Daisy collection, which is like my favorite collection to get sweaters from their stuff is really high quality and usually a lot warmer this is a size medium and this is 100 polyester you want to click the description and try to stay away from sweaters that are made of acrylic acrylic shrinks really easily in the wash and it is a synthetic fiber so it's going to break down and it's not like really meant to withstand a lot of wear every day is a good day to wear a striped sweater i love this one it's like horizontal stripes along the sleeves and then vertical stripes down the center really cute just front tucked into a pair of jeans with a pair of black converse can't go wrong easy cute and then if you want to dress this up throw it on with leather pants and a pair of black boots All right. i'm wearing this on thanksgiving we don't really celebrate thanksgiving here in europe but i will be doing like a little friendsgiving moment and i have a feeling i'm gonna wear this with a pair of like brown leather shorts and then tights and a pair of boots is kind of what i'm thinking right now this is a chunky cable knit sweater it's got a gigantic turtleneck like this was one of those turtlenecks i needed to roll twice because it was just like so much happening but if you want a sweater that's going to keep you warm this is definitely going to be your guy look at how cute that little fringe is along the sleeves kind of giving me free people energy and then and this has like a little bit of a cuff along the bottom I don't know if you can see that but I didn't like love the way it was laying on me so I just rolled this under and then it gave like a cute cropped moment and I had a little bit of my stomach showing and I liked it a lot better that way um, I got this in a size medium for reference definitely more of a cropped fit so size up if you want to avoid that. this sweater from Shein is like one of the softest I think I've ever had it's not super chunky like the other ones are a cable knit they're like a really thick weft to the material this one is a little bit thinner but it's so soft so this is really great to layer with because you can put like a long sleeve like this underneath of it or you can put a jacket over top of it and you're not going to get that bulkiness in the shoulders and I just love this cute little tan would be very cute with a pair of yoga pants and a pair of Uggs I miss my Uggs I regret not bringing my Uggs to Europe so much. If you are studying abroad soon, definitely bring them. Got this in a size medium. All right, this sweater, kind of similar with that little fringe action going on. This would be another good Friendsgiving moment, Thanksgiving in general. It's got those tassels literally the whole way around, and I just love this. It's tan along the top, and it's more of like a kind of like chestnutty brown along the bottom. I will say that the quality of this isn't as good. It's like more of like a cheaper feel to it, but still very cute. Definitely gonna get some good wear out of that. How stinking cute is this little sweater? Like this is kind of more of a top, but it's like a sweater material, but it's fitted. So it's a little bit thinner. It's nothing crazy. It's got a little peplum bottom and then it's got those lettuce hems along the sleeves and along the edges. So cute. Like I literally love this with a pair of jeans and like, 
just a pair of sneaks. So cute. All right, and then I was feeling funky, guys. I was feeling something spicy. I decided to actually pick up some color. I know, I know, it's big for me because typically around this time of year, I only really wear white, brown, and black, but I figured I'd switch things up. You know, holiday season's here. Let's have some fun. So the first thing that I got is this orange sweater. I know it looks kind of bright on camera, but I promise you it's a little more muted in person. And it's got a turtleneck and it's got that like cute little cutout right here, like right above your cleavage. It's like, oh, I might have boobs, I might not. I don't know, I like it. It's got those fun like bishop sleeves. Something different, guys. I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. This one's really, really soft, too, and it's not as thick. Like, it's not as chunky. Maybe you want something that's, like, a little more toned down. Perhaps this is your sweater. This comes in a bunch of different colors. I have it in a couple of other ones. This is, like, a great step up from a long sleeve, like, just, like, your average t-shirt, but it's a step below a sweater. Like, it's that great in-between, like, crossing the bridge. It's the material of one, but it's definitely not super thick. It's fitted. Um, I love a good square neckline. So flattering on literally any body shape, any chest size. And this one's like just the right amount of cropped. Nothing super short. And it's got sleeves that are long enough. I figured this like burnt orange, little rust color would be cute with jeans and a pair of boots this time of year, you know? All right, next thing is like a thin ribbed sweater. I have this in tons of colors back in America, like white, black, tan, blue, orange. And I picked it up in this like burnt reddish. It's like a barn red. You know, thought I'd step out of the comfort zone. Figured this would work end of fall, early holiday season. Maybe throw it on um, with a scarf, a little beanie to match. This is a great layering piece. I really love wearing this specific style sweater underneath of a cardigan, underneath of a jacket, underneath of an oversized flannel. You can kind of mix and match it. And I got this in a size small, cutesy. And then I also got this guy. This is so stinking soft. I can't describe it. I like don't have any navy in my closet these days. And I was like, Mackenzie, come on, get some navy girl. So I got this and it's fitted again, a little bit thicker than your average top. So I just love this. It's so soft. It's like a light ribbed kind of material. And then this one actually has a collar and a bunch of different buttons. Super, super cute. You can really easily style this type of sweater with a pair of leggings too. I typically wear jeans every day, but when I was living in Kent and I was going to school, you know, not out of the country, I would wear leggings a lot to class and a lot of those sweaters would work really well with leggings too. Okay, and then last little sweater is actually a sweater dress. I love sweater dresses this time of year. I feel like they keep you so warm with a pair of tights and then those tall black boots. Ow, and a belt around the... <laughs> That was funny. I'm not going to edit that out because I hope it makes you giggle. And a belt around the waist to kind of cinch this. I think that this is going to be so damn cute. I'm going to Amsterdam at the end of the month. And I think that that is going to be like the perfect outfit. I can't wait. That is a really chunky, thick cable knit. All right. I told you guys I was going to wear one of those sweaters with a pair of brown leather shorts. These are the brown leather shorts I was referring to. These are from the Shein Petite line. Thank God they came out with one of those because my waist... I really struggle with a lot of Shein bottoms fitting and I got these in a petite extra extra small I'm about a 24 25 inch waist and these fit me beautifully I have them in black love them I know that you guys are probably like Mackenzie why are you getting shorts it's the middle of freaking fall it's about to be winter I love like if you can wear tights with a dress or tights with a skirt who says you can't wear it with shorts a lot of people in Europe wear tights with leather shorts and I think they look so cute so I got a brown pair as well big big fan so I picked up this two-piece set because I thought the model looked really cute in the two-piece set. I thought that it could be kind of a fun, funky Thanksgiving moment and because I thought that I would wear these pants on their own. Like these are a pair of plaid trouser pants and people wear a lot of plaid and a lot of trouser pants in Europe in general. These have like a little bit of black, a little bit of tan, and a little bit of like almost orange in them and I want to love these I do but they are just a little too big in the waist but I do think I'm going to be able to pin these I got this set in extra small this is not a drawstring waist as you can see this is a zipper and then it buttons up really cute wide leg though I'm going to make these work I have to make those work because I love them and then I actually really like the top with this I'm not sure that I would ever really wear this top without the matching set to be honest 
um, because like what would you wear it with? I guess like a bolero and leather pants could be kind of cute, but it's like more of a just like bustier style top and then it's a halter. It's got straps that go around the neck and then it zips up the back. Really fun. Last things I got are like really out there crazy pajamas. So me and my roommate Lauren are doing like a little girls trip together and we are staying in a hotel and when I stay in hotels for like different brand partnerships, I typically have to shoot content in the room, you know, and like show off the bed and just like the room in general and I really love doing this in fun funky pajamas we saw these feather ones and Lauren was like we have to do that Mackenzie that would be so damn cute so of course I got them I got us matching ones pink for Lauren they've got feathers along these sleeves and along the bottoms and then I also got this brown the brown are gonna be mine like how fun are these if you are like going to a bachelorette party or just like a part of a bridal party in general and you're looking for like good pajamas to get ready in these are so fun and so cute and so extra I will say their pajamas tend to run a little short in both the legs and the arms so read the size charts and I would probably recommend sizing up but yeah I'm really excited Somehow I accidentally deleted the footage of me holding up this bodysuit, but it's literally the cutest thing ever. So flattering, amazing neckline, and look at it, it's got an open back. Super, super cute. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this little haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. This was a really good batch of stuff, I thought. I'm like really excited to style these pieces, like I said, over the next few weeks my last month abroad. I will only have one more try on haul after this in this janky wonky weird lighting setup. I have really hated filming try on hauls here um, just because I'm not really working with much you know like I our school assigned us to this room to this apartment and there's not really much we can change about it so I'm looking forward to being back in the United States and in my true filming setup so stay tuned I promise it's coming soon. Love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already.